Dude, I want one so fucking bad, bro. I want it. I woke up in a new book. I woke up in a new book. Got it. What's going on guys welcome back to another video today we're taking out a closer look at this new product from carpet right it's actually really nice so as you can see uh, here thankfully enough due to my good friend Nick we're able to use this car so he doesn't have any screen uh, he just like has an old-school console which is actually a great example because I'm gonna be able to show you guys how you can install this system on like older cars so you know modern cars have like the screen and then a lot of times you have the Apple CarPlay Android CarPlay and all that stuff um, this product kind of meets you halfway in the middle so basically it's very simple it comes with like a digital screen um, I already get, pretty much showed the unboxing in the beginning of this video but today I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to set up in a car so it comes with a screen as you can see it's pretty pretty nice it's all like a full size almost like you know those regular screens so usually typically in the car you'll have a screen like that's here or sometimes if you have like cars like I don't know like Audi or Mercedes you have the screen like up here and hopefully in this setup I'm gonna try and put it up here so it's nice and visible and I'm gonna show you guys, uh, it actually comes with a couple of interesting features. So the setup in itself is very simple. You have obviously your power cable and you need to have this adapter which comes with it, which is great. Most cars have this like cigarette lighter thingy. You're gonna be able to use that. So I'm gonna set that up in a quick second. One thing I really like about this is that it has two mounts. So as you can see here in the back, you're gonna take a closer look. It has four um, openings and you can start, you could pretty much just like clamp on these devices. So there's the one with the circular pattern and that pretty much has, acts as a suction cup. So you can use this one. There's also another one that's, it really depends on how you use it. So if you're gonna use it in multiple scenarios, so like maybe in this car, or you're gonna get another car in the future, you know, one to kind of just like adapt. I definitely recommend the one with the suction cup. If not, there's also another one that comes with a nice 3M, millim 3M tape. Um, you actually have two, so in case you mess up the first one, you can always use the second one, which is really good. It has the same kind of feature. I'll just take it out of the box really Really quickly so you guys can see but it really does have the same overall feature so you set it up like this and then you can use one uh, that also that already comes onto it so like I said if ever you mess this up you can always have you always have this backup one but I'm not gonna be using this one for the purpose of the video I really want to showcase the one with the suction cup but I think it's gonna be an overall easier setup um, and it also comes with a auxiliary cord so what I like about this obviously auxiliary cord nothing new you guys already know what this is about but what I like about this is that once you set up the screen and everything if if your car has a like an implemented subwoofer or you've ha you have an augmented audio system you can just plug this into your uh, into the screen actually as you can see there's a couple of outlets here I'm gonna get into these in a second but you can plug this into the screen and then into your sound system and it can play whatever is going on in your phone through the screen and then through the sound system so you can really get personal and customize all the features which is really good so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put all this stuff away and we're gonna set it up really quickly you guys want to say hi to the cameraman really quickly I'm just kind of stuck in the corner here <laughs> I appreciate it a lot because I've been trying to get this video done for like four days now I got freaking caught up in so much shit but anyway thank you nick once once again for letting me uh use uh the car and your trustworthy hands with the camera and all that stuff so really quickly i'm going to show you so here as you can see setup process is really simple so you have this it's literally just you snap it in to the four things and you just have to push it up try not to break it here Boom, so when you hear the clap, that means it's clamped on. As you can see, very simple setup. Uh, for the most part, I think it's gonna look really clean on a lot of scenarios and a lot of cars. Um, it also depends on how you put it. I really do think that in cases like this, so as you can see, it'll give you kind of a small preview. I think it looks pretty good. Now, for the most part, you could also put it like up here. It really comes down to like personal preference and I think you can bring out the, um, so, Okay, this is actually pretty cool. So if you're gonna use it for frontwards, it's gonna give you this like kind of shortcut setup. But if you're gonna put it like a little bit further down on your dashboard, you can put it the other way around. Obviously you'd have to unclip and flip it, but you could put it like this and it would give you like kind of a um, extended look. And I think it's pretty cool. It's really convenient due to the suction cup. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put it that way. And if you can, you can rotate this really quickly. Boom, fixed on that. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's straight. There you go, that's always the satisfying part. Take that stuff out. And here, we're gonna try and put it somewhere in the middle. There we go. Should be fine. This is gonna hold. Now I'm gonna screw this part in. Kinda snug like that. 
There we go. Is that holding? There we go, boom. I think that's a pretty simple, easy setup. I'm actually pretty surprised with the sturdiness of this. I was not expecting it to be this. Now, okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so, so now we're gonna jump into the boot up system. Really simple. I think it's really just like plug and play. So you just have to plug this power outlet and then you just have to plug in your um your device really it works via bluetooth as well so that's a feature that if you guys want to try out that's pretty convenient but i do have to say that the faster way to set this up would definitely have to be via cable so really quickly let me see i was like my head on the fucking thing uh, okay so there we go we have this now obviously it'd be nice if you can find a way to manage your cables and so it doesn't like it's not all over the place because that kind of defeats the whole purpose of it but there you go system has been booted up and i think literally guys i'm going to use a regular thunderbolt port here and just set up like my iphone i think it's just basically that man like plug and play and then you're good to go so let's just have a quick look let's see if i can get the usb going in bada boom bam pow I'll just whip out my iPhone real quick. Okay. So I think if I go like to music, for example, right here, and I plug this in, it should automatically pop up on the screen. So, you enable wireless CarPlay. Okay, let's try that. All right, so as you can see, guys, it's set up, fully touchscreen. That, oh, that's really nice, actually. Damn okay so as you can see guys it's like just a regular touch screen it works uh f fully i think it, it it is compatible actually correct um uh, sorry for my little mistake there it is compatible with android carplay as well so it's kind of the same system obviously apple has their own interface android has their theirs um but it really works in the same similar fashion so if you guys are familiar with apple carplay it's really like the same features you have like google maps have your music and you have like all your apps here so it, it's really nice it allows you to just like to be completely fair this is really like a touch of like modern technology L like i said i'm not going to get into the whole apple carplay because that's just a simple system that you guys should already be familiar with but like i said as you guys can see super simple setup you choose one of the uh, adaptable mounts plug it real quickly you have one one cable that goes in for the power obviously it doesn't work wirelessly and then you have your uh, your cable i think what i'm gonna try is i'm gonna try and use it wirelessly really quickly and see how that setup works so i think if you play on iplay here that's the power code and if i go to bluetooth really quickly let's see it says connected okay so is that gonna work if i go for home okay is that gonna work wirelessly it should. Bada boom, bam, pow. Look at that. Super easy, super simple setup. So it's gonna show up on your uh, screen. So it's gonna show you the number and just the actual uh, Bluetooth. So it's gonna say Carpool Ride, that's the name of the device. And now it says it's not connected, which is weird because it is, as you guys can clearly see, there's no cable in the phone and it's showing up there. So a quick test, it's working Bluetooth, perfectly fine. That's actually a really simple setup. I. I had a fear that it would take a long time to set up via Bluetooth, but it actually didn't, so that's great. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up the setup. As you guys can see, that literally took less, like what, less than five minutes to set up, super simple. And if you look at the whole dashboard, it adds a lot of, not only does it make it look nice, but it just, it makes you look forward to getting in your car and listening to your music and all that stuff. Now you have, I, I did notice that when we were playing the song earlier, I'm not gonna play some music because I, I don't wanna get copyrighted, but, for the music itself, you do have to plug in the auxiliary jack. So like I said earlier, if you have a sound system, that's great. If not, you do have to find the aux cord in your car and plug it to that, because if not, it will display, actually the music will come out of the screen. It's not that great. So just, if you can use the aux cord, find the auxiliary jack in your car, and then you should be good to go, ready to set up. So that's about it. Major update actually. So what's going on over here? Nick has discovered something insanely crazy. If you turn this, if you turn that knob, it actually extends. Boom! Oh, and even boom. clicks. Boom! 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 <laughs> Cash money. Go. Okay. Dude, oh, that's fine. That's stable. Yeah, and it's perfect. It's in reach. I'm just gonna make it a little lower. There you go. Like this. Cash. Boom. Cash. So okay. if you don't touch it, it should be fine. That's perfect. And if you fix the screen real quick, boom! Look oh, at that. Ay, it's a fly. It's a fly. 
Let's see. Hell yeah, nice. this looks great. So yeah, now guys, this is actually a perfect time to show you that we've set up the auxiliary cord. So there you go. You can see it right here. And then you got the, uh, you're gonna need one of these, but most cars have this. So this is gonna all be fine. There you go. So all cars have them, no this issue is there. Battery, and then the aux will connect here all the way to the machine. And when you play your music, it'll come out of your speakers. That's pretty much it. So very simple. I can see guys, what we did here, we actually had the cables running through the back. So you can you guys can get creative, do what you want, um, set it up how you like, but that's it. Look at this, you happy man. That's what's up. Awesome. Sheesh. It actually looks good.